Welcome, RPG Goobers. Uh, I hope the audio is working well. I have just done a little bit of troubleshooting in regards to that. Um, but we are about to embark on the kingdom of butter. So, is the audio working? Oh, thank you. Okay. My lovely wife is helping with audio. All right. So, let us begin. Mounted Blade Warband is one of my favorite games. I learned about this from a friend of mine, Frank Youngblood, fabulous saxophonist, and he showed me the truth. He showed me the way. And unlike uh, season three of The Mandalorian, this is the way. All right. So let's... Hop right into it. All right. Start a new game. Welcome, adventurer, to Mountain Blade Warband. Before beginning the game, you must create your character. Remember that the traditional medieval society depicted in the game, war and politics, are usually dominated by male members of nobility. That does not, however, mean that you should not choose to play a female character, or one who is not of noble birth. Male nobles may have a somewhat easier start, but women and commoners can attain all of the same goals, and in fact, may have a much more interesting, if more challenging, early game. All right. Well, I'm going to have to go with the boys. Bada bing. Okay. You were born years ago in a far, a land far away. Your father was. Okay. I'm going to check the chat. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yes, Abyssal. A bit of a land, uh, a Mando bash. Um, okay. Hmm. So, I'm going to be checking your comments back and forth. What should we do? An impoverished noble, a traveling merchant, a veteran hunter, a veteran warrior, a hunter, a step nomad. I'm going to pull up your guys' comments on my phone. Just so I can get that. Bippity boppity boo. RPG Gooper Adventures. Where are you? I did. Yep, oh, oh, there I am. Ha! Okay. Perfect. All one people. Um, idea. Let's sell cheese instead. I'm down to sell cheese, but I think my heart is set on butter. Cheese may be good. The cheese may be great, but actually I just learned that I'm allergic to, to cheese. Um, so it's a little bit of a... Um, a gut wound uh, to go the cheese route. So, there has to be butter. Our people have to live off of butter. I believe butter is one of the consumables in the game. Um, so all of our forces will be fed purely with butter. Um, each of these effects are stats. Now, how about we were a noble? We were in the butter business, but our butter business did not uh, prosper. Okay. You came into the world as son of a declining nobility, owning only the house in which they lived. However, despite your family's hardships, they afforded you a good education and trained you from childhood for the rigors of aristocracy and life at court. Son, as one of the butter burrs, you must learn how to feed the troops. You must learn how to sell our butter burrs butter. However, you started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent your early life as a page. No, 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 no. We were a shop assistant. We had to be a part of Butterburrs, the nobility's family butter mill. All right. 
As a boy, growing out of childhood, you apprenticed to a wealthy merchant, picking up the trade over the years of working shops and driving caravans. You soon became adept at the art of buying low, selling high, and leaving the customer d thinking they'd got the better deal. Then, as a young adult, life changed as it always does. You became... Hmm. I became old and grouchy. Huh. Hmm. What do you think, Mero? Hello, Wolf. Welcome. Right now, we are, well, picking our character. And so far, we have a last name. The family of Butterbur. The uh, the noble Butterbur um, family. It sold butter and, and fed their people off of butter for many a, a year. And so, we, as, as a, a young child, we we helped our Butterbur family. My wife is glaring at me. <laughs> she doesn't like the whole butter thing. <laughs> she thinks cheese would be better, too. Well, it sounds like, Mero, that she, um, she agrees with you. All right. Uh, but, butter it is. <laughs> it's the name of the stream. We gotta, we gotta go. Okay. Let's see. So, we were apprenticed to a wealthy merchant in the Butterbear Corps. Uh, Butterbear Corps. Then, as a young adult, life changed as it always does. You became a squire, a troubadour, university student, a goods peddler, a smith. A game poacher, go back. Hmm. What do you think? Um. Staring at the comments. Oh well. I'm gonna have to go with a. Goods peddler. Thank you, Wolf. All right, though the distinction felt sudden to you, somewhere along the way you had to become a man, and the whole world seemed to change around you. Heeding the call of the open road, you traveled from village to village, buying and selling what you could. It was not a rich existence, but you became a master at haggling, even the most miserly elders into giving you a good price. Soon you knew you would be well placed to start your own trading empire. But soon, everything changed, and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. What made you take this decision was... Hmm. Personal revenge. Who stole the butter? Tell me later. Somebody ruined the Butterbur fortune, and I have to make it my aim to eviscerate them. And, um, in, in some way. Whether it's in, in the... The uh, capitalist butter fashion, or, um, yeah, who is Dairy Gold in this world? That's what I really want to know. Only you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. Still, it was not a difficult choice to leave with the rage burning brightly in your heart. You want vengeance. You want justice. What was done to you cannot be undone, and these debts can only be paid in blood. Well, there it goes. It looks like we're killing him. Become an adventurer and ride to your destiny. Perfect. Ah, our banners. What would the Butterbur family banner be? It would not be cheese. <laughs> hmm. Which one of these screams butter? Is there one with a cow? No, but we have a hog. Maybe we milked hogs. Maybe we were boar butter. <laughs> What do you think, all? Um, one of these banners has to fit our Butterbur family legacy. I'm I'm leaning towards. Hmm. Also, by the way, if you ever need the volume lower, say with the game, please just let me know in the YouTube chat so that I can. Adjust that setting for you. All right. Butter. Hmm. 
two butters with a river in between. <laughs> Any ideas? Maybe these, uh, well, those are horseshoes. Hmm. There isn't a cow. It's a gazelle, a bear, and now we're back at the opening page. Horseshoes. All right. Oh, no. I skipped it. I skipped it again. There we are. All right. What will the game... Well, no quitting without saving. Obviously. Tutorial. Perfect. All right. Our last name is Butterbur. But what would our first name be? Butterbur. Of the Butterbur family... Fortune. What did you say? What's a good cow name? Maybe they named him after their favorite milk cow. Tis Kensington. <laughs> Kensington Butterbur. Oh no, I guess I have to... Oh wait, wait, wait. I see. Hmm. Let's see. But for butter. We gotta come up with a, a suitable name. But Butterbur? Is that... Bessie. <laughs> Burr. Okay. Bessie Butterbur. <laughs> All right. What would be a good voice for Bessie Butterbur? Would he kind of have like a fragile side to him? Bessie Butterbur. <laughs> He's an impoverished no noble. Bessie. Bessie Butterbur. Lord Churn. <laughs> okay. Um, so, chat. What do you think? What type of voice would uh, Bessie Butterbur... What would behoove Bessie Butterbur? Okay. So, our charisma should probably be strong, deep, and valiant voice. Bessie Butterbur. Of the family Butterbur, although we have fallen on hard times, we shall overcome. Yo, what? There's always one guy on the comments. <laughs> It doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> he always adds that comment. If I ever use that word. Um, nasally sounds like a weasel. Bessie Bataba. The... An impoverished noble. I had many... I had much experience with my... Well... In my raising. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Merci, Butterbur. Um, charisma probably would not be a strong suit, which will be an issue, especially when it comes to dealing with, well, prisoners, leadership, and trade. However, we don't have to do the talking. So, uh, despite we, you know, us having these kind of nothing burger stats, um, I believe... Well, I guess that's affected by, by leader skill, the party skill. Hmm.
What am I talking about? Bessie Butterbur is not the type of man to need to put points into leadership. Bessie Butterbur will have a butter empire no matter what. And whether he has to pay full dollar for his men, I guess that's, you know, just what he does. Bessie Butterbur III, you're right. He would have to be in a long line of Bessie Butterburs. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, is he a strong man? Sounds like the most char charismatic chap one could ever meet, says Mr. Midnight. The Twelfth. Ten is... What's ten? Roman numeral. Oh, you're right. Yeah. She, she. All right. Bessie Butterbur, the twelfth. The Butterbers are an old family known for their butter beer and butter cake. <laughs> butter beer. Not butter beer. No. It'd have to be... It's only butter. Yeah, it would just be melted butter, I think. They were known for their yellow teeth. <laughs> okay. Um, what? How much? How strong is this guy? This fellow? Well, he's been only having butter. So he's at least on some kind of... He's constant in ketosis. He's probably reached his... his uh, he's essentially eating carnivore. Um, all strength points zero strength the beefiest boy nothing but strength <laughs> alright I think he must be the beefiest boy um what would his ch like chosen weapon be frail but dexterous wait frail and dexterous strong I guess Hmm. Would Bessie Butterbear the Twelfth be raised on one-handed weapons, two-handed weapons, pole arms? Would he be an archer? Would he have crossbows? Um, throwing a toothpick, a stick of butter. I don't know if I can use a stick of butter. A maul. It does kind of have a butter shape. Hmm. All right. Two-handed it is. And since he's two-handed, should I, hmm, butter daggers. He would throw frozen butter. Okay. Looks like he also is going to have points in throwing. And hmm, a mall carved to look like a stick of butter. One of you, please draw that. That would be lovely. Bessie Butterbur, the twelfth. Um, looting. All of these are so important. <laughs> this is such a terrifying character. Okay. Um. Hmm. He's otherwise a very popular dog trainer. You're right. One point in trainer. All right. Now here's the fun part. Welcome to 2008 graphics. We are staring at the mug of Bessie Butterbur. Here's our age slider. Would Bessie Butterbur have a Butterbur beard? Probably. I said that he would have yellow teeth. Hmm. His beer is in a little butter bun. He should be <laughs> He should be youthful like butter. <laughs> okay. 
Well then, he'll have to be clean shaven then. There we are. Youthful like butter. Okay. Now this is the terrifying part. The skin changes the entire face. Butter him up. That does look like a Bessie. In terms of facial expression. Bessie Butterbur. Channel the butter... Mm, well, this guy's kind of jaundiced. So maybe him. Have you had butter all your life? Sir? He does have to have hair the shade of butter. We're gonna have to come up with alternate alternative words for butter because this could be a long show. I do think, yeah, this guy, hmm. He's just got so much raw milk butter coursing through his veins. Churned cream. What do you think? Rate this hairstyle out of 10. <laughs> Rate this hairstyle. If you can. Um, notice the lack of a fade in the back. Perfect. Cream cubes. Says Plassy Boost. 12 out of 10. 42 out of 10. I think you're right. I'm pretty sure you're right. Okay. Now the hair color slider. Do we have any more? Oh, well, that's lame. Maybe it's it's this character. He doesn't have that hair color in him. Strange. I feel like blonde was a thing. I guess you kind of have to be a Nord in order for blonde hair. Hmm... It's either brown or black. <laughs> yeah. How can I do that? No. <laughs> you haven't even played this game. What are you talking about? <laughs> I think I think that works. Oh wait, he either has brown hair or black hair. What do you think? What color hair should be? I see. Be. I'm going to work as you do that. I'm going to make his head. shape. Would he be angry? Angry at his lot? <laughs> or would he be kind of sad about his lot? He is either very wise or high AF. <laughs> there we are. He'll just have a static expression. <laughs> How about that abyssal? <laughs> Um. <laughs> okay. Eyelids. <laughs> I didn't know you could make them smaller. Oh my gosh. Oh. I hope you know that somewhere in the world of Cal Wen, this man exists. 
Love that his mouth is slightly open. Yep. You can fit one uh, quarter of a tablespoon of butter through there. If you like, you know, slice it. Eye distance. No, I think his eye distance was actually all right. Maybe a little wider. Yes. Eye width, eye width. Oh. That was good. Cheekbones. It's a noble. If you ever kill Alar, I shall come back as Bessie Butterbear the 12th. Oh my word. That's actually a really good threat. <laughs> Whenever you need to threaten a dungeon master, all you have to do is show him the trap character that you've made as a backup. And... You'll be alive for a lot longer than would be normal. All right. His grandmother didn't even change her name when she, <laughs> when she got married. Nobody wanted to marry into the Butterbirds, necessarily, I don't think. I think that... Yeah, what is the Butterbur lore? Hmm. Oh no, that's not too much. Um, nose size. Nose width. Nose height. Oh, we want... Oh, big cheeks. Mouth width. <laughs> Mouth to nose distance. I'm trying to make his head as square as possible. Chin shape. Chin forward. Oh, that's terrifying. I don't like that at all. Hmm. Well, now he's beginning to look normal. Or maybe I'm just... Getting tired. Hmm. He kind of does look like somebody from Dark Souls. It's like another death, a different day. That would be my expression if every <laughs> if every time I got impaled and just slashed apart by some beast I would come back be like okay you hear about Calradia a land torn between rival kingdoms battling each other for supremacy a haven for knights and mercenaries cutthroats and adventurers all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune power or glory in this land which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities, you believe you may leave your past behind and start a new life. You feel that finally, you hold the key of your destiny in your hands, free to choose as you will, and that whatever course you take, great adventurers will await you. Drawn by the stories you hear about Calradia and its kingdoms, you... Join a caravan to Praven in the kingdom of Swadia. Swadia, Swadia. I've always said Swadia. Who here says Swadia? If you say Swadia, type a one in the chat. If you say Swadia, and I've always said Swadia, type a two in the chat. If you get back and or go back and forth, that's me. Um, 
Revadan in the kingdom of the Vegirs, join a caravan to Tolga in the Kyrgyz Khanate, take a ship to Sargath in the kingdom of the Nords, take a ship to Jelkala in the kingdom of the Rodox, join a caravan to Shariz in the Serenad Sultanate. Yes. Atlas has brought up a good point. He said, best part is Bessie isn't even starting anew. He's just expanding his selling borders. Agreed. All of this, all of this will, will get, go under our thumb. Uh, I've... Uh, metagaming here for a sec. I normally always go to Jelkala. Just because I've, I've always been a crossbow fiend. But... I don't believe that's what Betty Butterbur would believe in. Uh, Bessie Betty, Bessie Butterbur. You're right, Betty Butter. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna say you came by a caravan through the hot land of Calradia. Green shoots of wheat, barley, and oats are beginning to push through the dark soil of the rolling hills, and on the lower slopes of the snow-capped mountains, herds of cattle and sheep are grazing on the spring grass. Occasionally, too, you catch sight of one of the great war horses that are the pride of the Swadian nobility. The land here is rich, but also troubled, as the occasional burnt-out farm bears witness. You keep a wide berth of some of the forests, where desperate men have taken refuge. And it is some relief when you crest a ridge and catch sight of the great port of Praven, its rooftops made golden by the last rays of the setting sun. You are exhausted by the time you find the inn in Praven and fall asleep quickly. However, you awake before dawn and are eager to explore your surroundings. You venture out onto the streets, which are still deserted. All of the sudden, you hear a sound that stands the hairs of your neck on end. The rasp of a blade sliding from its scabbard. Did... Did I just hear something? I... I believe there was a blade. Um... Come out! I am a noble! Uh, back! I say, oh, oh, don't, no, oh, yeah. uh, sir, is, oh, oh, goodness, um, well, uh, I will take this, and you take that, oh. are you all right, Will? I guess you're alive at any rate. I'm not sure that we could say the same for the other fellow. That's one less thief to trouble our streets at night, although heaven knows he won't be the last. Anyway, maybe you can help me with something. Let's talk more inside. Out here, we don't know who's listening. Well, uh, fair enough. The merchant takes you to his house. Once inside, he stands by the door for a while, checking the streets. And then, finally convinced you have not been followed, comes near you to speak. Oh wait, I guess I have to go near him. My cabbages. <laughs> Pardon me, sir, I'm just investigating. Hmm. Perfect. <laughs> this is a good measure door. Nice shutters. Well, several rugs. It, it, it is more than quaint, to be sure. Before you begin, I must examine my surrounding... Oh, <laughs> I've never been down here. More. Excuse me, sir. Have you considered maybe going into business together? Hold that thought. I will take an examination of your... Well, your stores. Hmm... So it looks like you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 barrels of rum. 
a good amount of hay. Hmm. It sounds like Bessie has high heels on. <laughs> Are you guys getting that? <laughs> Okay. Mm. Okay. Um, what were you saying? Talk. Now, let me explain my proposition. We've always had brigands in the hills, driven the bandit tree by war, debt, or love of violence. Recently, however, they've been getting bolder, leaving the camps in the wild and venturing into town, looking for unwary prey. The Watch Commander tells us it's because of all the fighting on the frontiers. Fewer men to keep an eye on in the streets. But I'm not sure what to make of that. It seems to me that the most logical explanation is that the bandits have an ally inside the walls who helps them enter unnoticed and helps them identify particularly tempting targets. Last week, you see, they took my brother. Oh dear. I don't know what my brother was thinking. A lad from these prominent house, out alone after dark in times like these, uh... Well, I suppose you were too, but you're a stranger here, and didn't know how bad things had become. He had no such excuse but his family, so... <laughs> I didn't remember that he said, but his family. But his family, so uh, what can you do? If you don't protect your kin, then people will start thinking that you can't protect your investments either. This guy's actually a mob boss, and I can't have that. No doubt the gang will soon send word about some ransom, but I don't care to pay it. Oh. <laughs> hmm. So here's my proposition. You look like you've had a bit of experience with the blade, and more importantly, you must have a bit of fire in your belly. Mm, fire? Or you wouldn't be coming to Calridia to seek your fortune. So here's what I'm asking you to do. Gather a small party, track down these bandits to their lair, teach them a lesson they won't forget. And get my brother back safe. In return, you'll learn my lasting gratitude and a bit of silver. What do you say? I think you're right, Plasibus. It is an honor we can't refuse. I am... I am interested. We had a hundred dinars. Mmm, money. You won't be able to do this by yourself, though. If you try to take on the whole gang single-handedly, the hunter will become the hunted, I'll warrant. You'll first want to round up a group of volunteers. There's always a bit of a few lads in the villages around here looking for a bit of work that's more interesting than, uh, than tilling the soil or hauling water. They'll follow you if you pay. So, take this purse a hundred dinars. Consider it in advance on your reward. Go around to the villages and use the money to hire some help. I reckon that you need at least five men to take on these bandits. Very good, sir. I'll go collect some of the men from around the villages. Good. Uh, you can find me in the tavern here. I think we freaked him out. Uh, in Praven, after you got your group together. Then we'll speak about what we do next. I've taken my first quest. And I may view my quest log by pressing Q any time in the game. Okay. Well, um, I will leave now. Huh. There I am. Beautiful Bessie Butterbur. Hmm. <laughs> I must go to Asgard. All right, um, so how this game works is Calridia is this huge continent and there's a variety of different areas to explore. Um, and essentially, you're able to go to different villages, um, recruit, volunteers, um, attack, conquer. Um, it's so open-ended and it's so much fun to play. The village of Asgard seem to be flourishing. The fields and the orchards are humming with activity with filled sacks of grain and drying meat testifying to the productivity of the village's cropland and pastureland. Remember that this village and the surrounding lands belong to Count Montuar of the Kingdom of Swadia. The populace is indifferent to you. Um, excuse me, uh, would you care to join me? Perfect, um, well just you. What about your friends? Just... Fine. 
Well, we have one person. Um, let's take a jaunt over to Vida. Mm, and one nice thing, which is in the vanilla game, is you can uh, move your people a little bit faster. Um, excuse me, uh, people of Vida. Oh, perfect. There's three of you. Um, and Baksam, recruit. All right. Ayinda. Hello. I come. I am a noble. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Auto saving. Gallop, gallop. So, um, in my company, I, wait a minute. Oh, yes, that's the control. Okay, moving side to side. Hmm. Well, I guess I should speak to the merchant. Oh, merchant. Hello. Um, who, excuse me, sir. I, I have brought those men that you require. Oh, uh, horns. Where did they come from? <laughs> Splendid work. You've hired enough men to take on the bandits. Now, travelers Anting Praven have told us that there's a small group of robbers lurking on the outside of town. I suspect they're all from the same band. The one that took my brother. Hunt them down and defeat them, and I'll make them disclose the location of their lair. Well, hmm. Um, very well. I shall hunt for the bandits. Mm. And who are you? Ooh. And interesting. Hmm. Excuse me, sir. Greetings there, brother. Here's to the doom and downfall of all highborn lords and ladies. Um, that's rebel talk. <laughs> I think, I think, uh, that would really set Butter Burr off. What do you think? Um, that's rebel talk. I'll hear none of it. Good day to you. <laughs> well, no use standing here. Um, and who are you? Oh, there, traveler. You wouldn't by chance be in the market for a tracker, would you? Mm, pa perhaps, sir. What's the urgency? Well, sir, it's a long story. I had a bit of misunderstanding here in Braven about a horse that I found tied up outside the inn. It was a spitting image of a beast that threw me for a few days back and ran off. Naturally, I untied it for a closer look. As it turns out, the horse belonged to a merchant, a pinch-faced old goat who wouldn't accept that it was a simple misunderstanding, and went off to get the guard. But if there I was with a larger group who could vouch for me, they might let me pass. I'd be very grateful to you. What do you think? Let's see. Uh, to the wonderful five of you, what would you say we do? Should we take this vagabond on? Placibu says nah. Hmm. Any disagreement? In five. Four, three, two. I'll do no such thing. I have better things to do than help the thieves avoid justice. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like he has high heels. Uh, okay. Um, brum, brum. Let's leave. Perfect. Oh, and there's the band of robbers. Come this way. What do you want? I've been looking for you. Tell me where you keep your prisoners and I'll let you go. Ah, uh, those prisoners are only going to be free if you pay the ransom. Did you bring any silver? No, but I brought steel. <laughs> All right. Charge the enemy. Oh. All right, men. It is very simple. 
We shall attack them and men. Uh, uh, men. Wait, men. I, here. Perfect. All right. So we shall attack them um, in great force. And I really do have garbage items. Do you have any range? No, you don't. Um, so one of the beautiful things about this game is that you're able to control so many different aspects of the battle. Um, like, for example, there's all of these different commands. There's also all of these different commands. And then even more. And you can even set up... Okay, so right now they're throwing stones, which... Uh, takes a lot of stones. Charge. For a game that came out in 2008, this is incredible. Ha <laughs> ha! Perfect. Thank you, men. All right. I spare me, spare my life. Let me go and I'll go far away from here and learn an honest trade. And you'll never hear more of me again. I think I might turn down this game volume. My goodness. I'll spare your life, but in exchange I want information. Either you or your mates kidnap the brother of a prominent merchant in town. Tell me where you're hiding him. And give me your word that you'll stop troubling the people of these parts. And you can go free. Oh, bless you, sir, bless you. We've done the lad no harm. We've been keeping him in our hideout near El Barrel. I'll describe the area nearby in detail, so there's no mistaking it. Perfect. Well, hmm. Oh, I guess I can't capture them. <gasps> but some people are ready to upgrade. Perfect. Look at that. All right. Hmm. Ragged Nomad armor. If I can sell it. Perfect. Oh, and I have linen. That's pretty good. Hmm. Brum, brum, brum. Well, men, that was well fought. Mm, now we have to go near that, that L Bell place. Mm. Let's see, where is that? Oh, way over there. Okay. Through the woods. Nothing's going to harm me through the woods. Into the woods. <laughs> I think um, he definitely would have a bit of a background in musicals. <laughs> oh. Oh, who are you? Oh, perfect. You approach the hideout. The looters don't appear to have spotted you yet, and you could still sneak away unnoticed. This difficult approach to the site down a narrow defile means that only a handful of troops in your party will be able to join the attack, and they'll be unable to bring their horses. If your initial attack fails, the looters will easily be able to make their escape and disperse. Do you wish to attack the hideout, or wait for another occasion? Attack! All right, N. Easy does it. Uh. I heard a bow. An arrow was right by my head. Don't shoot me. Oh! <laughs> and... Quickly! Make safe the city. It is ten days till the looters attack. Ah! Oh! Almost hit you. Ah. Perfect. Excuse me, just w wait, will you? Ah. Charge! Hit him! Hard! Harder! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> hmm. 
Honestly, I forget how to unequip my shield. Sir, how do you feel? What do you think? Did we do a good job? Did we? Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, that guy scared me. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. Thank you, thank you, sir, for rescuing me from those fiends. Did my brother in Praven put you onto the track? Yes, I told him that I would find you. I advise you to return to your family as quickly as you can and be careful on the road. With their retreat cut off, the looters fall one by one to your determined attack. Their hideout and their ill-gotten gains, as now yours. <gasps> Telltale, did you know that your game has a problem with the spelling? Problem with the grammar? Probably not. Probably not. Man, for the opening quest, too. Oh, well. 2008. It's still one of the best games of all time. <laughs> hmm. Somebody said butter knives. I think that would make sense. How I selected that was not necessarily the best, given that you want to grab the higher priced items first. Oh. Twelve pennies for all. Okay. Was it the tavern? Ahem. Uh, oh, there you are. Excuse me, sir. Well, my brother's home safe. I'm not sure what to do with him. Maybe pack him off to a university outside of Calridia. <laughs> that way, if he gets knocked on the head in a street brawl, no one could say it's my fault. But that's not your problem. Here's the rest of your reward. It was well earned. The money is most welcome, and I am glad to have been of service. <laughs> Good. Now, are you interested in making some more? Possibly. What do you need? Remember how I told you that the bandits had an ally inside the walls? I think I know who it is. The captain of the watch, no less. Some months ago, this captain, seeing the amount of profit we merchants were borrowing from trade across the frontiers, decided to borrow some money to sponsor a caravan. Unfortunately, like many who are new to commerce, he real failed to realize that great profit only comes with great risk. So he sank all his money into the most expensive commodities. And of course, his caravan was captured and looted, and he lost. Everything. <clears throat> oh, there's more text. As a consequence, it seems I kept into the villainy to recoup his fortune. I suppose I'd do the same if the heavens were be that I ever faced indebtedness and ruination. Now, any watch captain with his salary will have a few thieves and robbers on his payroll to inform on the rest. But our captain decides to employ these wasters wholesale. He brings them into the town. Let's them do as they will, and takes a share of their take. You've heard of poachers turning gamekeepers? Well, in the unfortunate land of Calridia, sometimes gamekeepers will turn poacher. Luckily, there's still a few brave, honest souls in the watch who told me uh, how he works. No! <laughs> this is killing my voice. Now, here's my plan. I can bring this to the attention of King Hollis, Lord of the City, but that would mean an inquiry. My word against the captains, and the witnesses can be bought. Evidence destroyed, or maybe the whole thing will be forgotten if the enemy comes across in the borders again. And all I'll get for my trouble is a knife in the ribs. In time of war, you see, a king's eye wanders far from his domain, and his subjects suffer. So I've got another idea. I got a small group of townsfolk together, some men in my employ, and some others who've lost relatives to bring these bandits... And we'll storm the captain's home, bring him in chains before King Alice, hopefully with a few captured bandits to explain how things stack up. All I need now is someone to lead my little army into battle, and I can't think of anyone better than you. Uh, so what do you say, uh, Mr. Butterbursan? How do I know that you're telling me the truth? 
Uh, well, I suppose it's possible that I found a dozen bandits who were willing to give their lives to give a passing stranger a false impression of life in Old Praven. Well, I guess you can't really know if my word is good, but I reckon you'd learn by now that my money is good. There's another hundred dinars, or maybe some a bit more, that's waiting for you if you do me this last little favor. So, what do you say? What do we say? Um, do you have the, the YouTube chat? Oh, there it is. As a fellow voice actor, take care of your, vo your voice. Thank you, Mr. Midnight. Hmm, but what do we say? What do we say here? What could we possibly say? Hmm. Yea or nay? Grape juice? Yay, yeah, all right. Yay, yeah, it is. Brum, brum, brum. All right. I'll lead your men. Splendid. It's been a long time since I staked so much on a single throw of the dice. Frankly, I find it exhilarating. My men are ready to move on your wood. Are you ready? Yes, give them the sign. Good. Now strike hard, strike fast, and the captain and his henchmen won't know what hit them. May the heavens be with you. Thank you. Um, you leave the tavern and go out into the streets. Nervous-looking young men are waiting on every street corner. You can see they have daggers and clubs concealed under their clothes and catch a mixture of fear, anticipation, and pride in the quick looks they throw at you as you pass by, praying that your enemies have not been alarmed by this all-too-obvious bunch of plotters. You check your weapons for one last time and prepare yourself for the action ahead. It's time, lads! Up and at them! Oh! Quickly! Uh, hello? <laughs> oh, they're over there! <laughs> I guess everybody's over there now. Have you hit him yet? I'm coming! <laughs> oh! There we are, and bah! <laughs> right in the nads. Yes. Now they won't make fun of my voice. Bah! <laughs> right in the nads. Oh. Oh, wait, it's E. <laughs> wait. Okay. My foot didn't kill him, right? I don't think so. That would be wild if it did. That would be crazy. The remaining few bandits scatter off to the town's narrow alleys, only to be hunted down one by one by the angry townsfolk. Making sure that your victory is complete and all the wounded have been taken care of, you and the merchants head to his house to review the day's events. Nice cabbages. Ah, well done. I saw at least three of the enemy go down before you. Keep fighting like that and you'll make quite a name for yourself in this land. Unfortunately, about uh, nine of my lads got themselves wounded. I should go look on them. Bessie is like moving back and forth, a little uncomfortable. Mm. Definitely it wasn't because I went the wrong way. Mm, well, let every villain learn to fear the name of Bessie Butterbur the Twelfth. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Now, a couple of my boys had the watch captain pinned down in the back room with a knife at his throat. 
I'll need to go drag him before the King Harless and explain what this breach of peace is all about. You don't need to be a part of that, though. I'll tell you what. If all goes well, I'll meet you in the tavern. Uh, again shortly, and I'll let you know how it all came out. If you don't see me in the tavern, but I instead see my head on a spike over, <laughs> over the city gate, I'll assume you know enough to stay out of this town for a while and forget this whole episode ever happened. So, hopefully, uh, we'll meet again. Hopefully, indeed. Well, it was, it was good. But I must go. <laughs> All right, well. I'm gonna go to the tavern. Ah, uh, Bessie Butterbur the Twelfth. Things didn't quite go so well as I'd hoped. King Hollis couldn't find it in him to overlook my little uh, breach of the peace. Oh, he's grateful enough that I got rid of his crooked captain, a god who'd let in bandits. Uh, we're letting in enemy army if the price is right. But he can't exactly have me running around here. It's a lasting reminder of his failure to take care of things himself. That hardly seems fair. Fair. This is Calridia, my boy. The kings do what they will, and the rest of us do as they must. He didn't string me up, but instead gave me time to sell my properties. Even put me in a word with some other merchants that they best pay me a fair price, too. That's gracious enough, as kings go. But he's a weak king, as they all are here. Weak kings must always look to their authority first, and justice second. I suppose I do the same in his shoes. Anyway, I wouldn't go rubbing your pot in this affair in King Alice's face, but he's taken note of you. Decided that you're not worth uh, hanging. And that's something to which he, uh, I'll raise my glass any day of the week. He might even have you work for you further down the road. Or you could sell your sword to one of his competitors. Anyway, I hope you've learned a bit about what it takes to stay alive in this troubled land. And I expect that the money you've earned won't go to waste. Uh, good luck. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. <sighs> Goodbye. So, where would Butterbur go next? Is this town Jersey? <laughs> no, but the Merchant of Praven is. <laughs> All right. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. That would be incredible. Wow. Hmm. Um, Let us see here. Well, we need to establish a better, a butter, a better butter empire. And our better butter empire first must acquire some butter. So let's go to the marketplace. Goods merchant. Mm. No butter? Well, then take this and that and this and that. And that and these and this. Mm. Keep the butter knife. Sell the linen. Well, we probably could get a better price of it elsewhere, but... That's okay. We'll keep the good butchering knife. And just bada bing, bada boom. This is not a very buttery hat. Well, I guess it kind of is. That works. Um. Hmm. Perfect. We must leave for another city. We must go to Swadia. We are in Swadia. <laughs> Never mind. Charge! Hmm. Suno. Do you have any butter? No. Well, then goodbye. Axol. So, over the course, see to our, our lower right, kind of, there is essentially the time. Oh! The beatings will not stop until morale improves. Some dried meat.
Quickly! To Axel! Who are you? Do you have any butter? <gasps> no, that was so close. Drat. I was really excited for a second. I... Ah, well. <clears throat> no butter. None. Zilch. zippity doo da snitch Well... Fellows, it looks like we might be able to uh, chance upon a monopoly. Mm. Oh. I'm not afraid of you lot. Fight me if you dare. We have six troops for battle against their 15. Uh, but Bessie Butterbur, the 12th, ain't no B. We hold the good position. Boop, boop. Stay there. Stay there, men. I shall do my best. Oh, one of them has a crossbow. That's actually kind of nice. Wait, horse, stop! Okay. Holy moly, that, yeah, that's a lot of people. This is actually kind of a bad position for me. Oh, there we are. Headshot. Mmm, take the butter! For butter, for battle, for biscuits, and the bright morning. <laughs> trying to run away. <laughs> yeah, do you need help opening that can? <laughs> okay. Thank you. There we are. No. Love you. <laughs> oh dear. Our Swadian recruits have taken heavy casualties. And I... So... Metagaming again. There's a great strat in this game where essentially you up your 
ability to take in prisoners. And so what that does is you're able to sell all of the enemies that you capture. Um, and so you can go around and I learned this from my friend, uh, essentially take a bunch of manhunters. You follow small looting parties um, and then take all of their special units that they've captured. But we're unable to do that. All right. Um, Swadian footman. There we are. And we'll just get as much of this as possible. Options. There we are. Just turning the music a bit down. Excuse me. Oh, perfect. Seven of you will join the fight. Mm, and no butter again. Mm. We shall try Yalib. Hello. My name is Bessie Bataba, and I would like to buy some butter. You don't have any. Oh no, it's fine. It's fine. I'm actually happy. Ha 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 ha. Everything is fine. Well, I will take your grain. And your dried meat. And your cabbages. And that is all. Uh, that will not suffice, but it will do. Mm. Trot, 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 trot. Hello. Ma all right. No butter there, either. <clears throat> Ushkuru, the people of Ushkuru have been known to have plenty. Um, uh, <sighs> well, off to s- <clears throat> Off to the Kurgit Connet. The town of Helmar seems to be flourishing. The people look well fed and relatively content. Craftsmen do a thriving business, and some migrants appear to be coming here from other regions to seek their luck. You see the banner of Alagor Noyan of the Kurgit Connet over the town gates. The populace is indifferent to you. Well, I guess we should try to find the market. Um, so feel free to buy what you want or visit the tavern. I'm going to head to the market first and, and well, just see what I can find. Butterbur heads to the market and finds nothing. Nothing of note, nothing of value. Well, there's that cheese. But who needs cheese? Who wants cheese? Apparently our viewers and my wife. Mm hmm Well, what should the butter blade be? That kind of looks like a stick of butter. What do you think? Almost butter, but not quite buttery enough. I agree, Mr. Midnight. Hmm. Get off the horse, use the legs. <laughs> yeah. No, the, some of the, the AI is pretty funny. Um, okay. Hmm. But should the heavy sledgehammer... It's two-handed. And it can crush through blocks. Oh, but we're not strong enough. Oh, wait, we just upgraded. Okay. We'll get the butter hammer. And we'll upgrade. Oop. And ba-ba-ba-ba-ba. 
Strength, 13. Power strike, power draw. Oh, oh, we also have really great throwing. Hmm, I forgot about that. Riding, shield, ventory. We should... Well, I told you about the prison management, but... What would Bessie Butterbear need? There's these differences between leader skills and party skills. So, all of these... Um, Really, looting on down are primarily party skills. Inventory management is um, a leadership thing. Um, but essentially, the difference between a party and your leader is that if you have a, uh, a variety of heroes, you know, they can add their skills to your, um, your crew your army okay not the best the best trader but I wasn't the worst at school school hmm. tracking trainer what do you think persuasion I'm thinking of maybe getting somebody else in persuasion at least that's kind of what my my idea is but how about we check the tavern before making any any movements? All right, and there's our butter, our butter beater. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Maybe he is wearing high heels. Excuse me, sir. Do you know anything? A good day, dear sir. How can I help you? I'd like to buy every man who comes in here. No, I wouldn't. Mm, have you heard of anyone in this realm who might have a job for a man like myself? Well, Sandra Khan is often looking for mercenaries to fight in his wars. Let me think some more. I've heard that Caravan Noyan has been asking around for someone who might want work. I'd watch yourself with him, though. You might want to speak with him. Let me think some more. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that Guildmaster over in Tolga has put in together a bounty on some bandits who've been attacking travelers in the area. You may want to speak with him. Let me, th <laughs> let me think some more. <laughs> there may be other work, of course. Lords and Guildmasters often have other tasks which we don't hear about. Also, the villages around here frequently need help, although they'd be more likely to pay you with a wedge of cheese and goodwill than with cold hard dinars. The sound of cheese. Um, Bessie Butterbur's butt clenches. <laughs> I'll keep my ears open for other opportunities. You may want to ask again from time to time. Uh, 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 well, if they think they'll pay me in cheese, I am leaving. <laughs> All right. All right. Wow, he said the wrong thing to the wrong man. What does Iron Flesh do? I believe Iron Flesh is a boost to health. Mm, let's see. I, yes, so it increases hit points. Um, and then Power Strike, Power Throw, all of those depend on the type of weapon that you're using. Um, weapon Master makes it easier to learn these proficiencies, which is kind of cool. Um, and they have specific limits depending on the amount. So that's actually a really good skill. Because right now, say in pull arms, I wouldn't be able to get past 60, I believe. Um, easily. Um, but that's an agility thing. Which, you know, Mr. You know, Butterbur, he already has his Butterbur basher. Is, yeah. So that might actually work really well to start putting points into agility. Hmm. Well, so far, the search for butter has been... My men would like a word with you about your personal belongings. There's a toll for passing through this land, payable to us. So if you don't mind, we'll just be collecting our due from your purse. What should we do? Should we fight? This is a bandit. 
from a step. A part of a... an uh, in-between in between, between uh, one floor and another. Hmm. Or should we give him butter flesh? <laughs> hmm. I'm glad you guys dig the hammer. What do you think? Shall we fight? Or shall we die? I am going to say, how about we do this last battle? And then I do hear my excellent IRL bed calling my name. How many bandits? Well, I don't know, actually. But all I know is that they will uh, give us nothing <laughs> but... Uh, I, think, I think we should go for it. I think we should try out the butter hammer. I, who knows, maybe mine, my chat might be lagging, but I'm not, not seeing one way or the other. Ah, that's okay. Bessie Butterbur is a proud member of the Butterbur family. I will give you but... Nothing but cold steel, you scum. Ten true. Oh, against their thirteen. Perfect. Okay. Um, charge. Sorry if that was a bit too loud. Let me turn that down. Whoa. Smoke and fog. I think. I think it's time to dismount. There we are. I got my butter basher. Oh, oh, oh no. Quick, topple their horses. Bada bing! A bada bada! And bada baste you! I will baste you, boy! Baste you with my. Oop! Holy moly. Oh my gosh. I've got a, I've got a red butter beater. Am I sure there's only 20? Boop. Wow, that was lucky. That guy was just charging at me with his full couch lance. Oh, oh dear. Gotta mount their own horses, beat them at their own game. Woo! 
Ugh. Drat. Holy cow, okay. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm like one shot away. Oh my word. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we are. <laughs> Out of arrows, are you? Well, I'm gonna say something dumb and then totally, totally lose this. a bash <laughs> um, we should come up with a few names for moves oh perfect perfect <laughs> get butter blasted Oh my word, look at my health bar. I mean, I never had any doubt. That was terrifying. I was not prepared for that. Oh, see, that really helps knowing that there's looters right there. Yeah, that's the difficulty sometimes with a um, speeding through things is that you really do not see enemies until they get too close. Hello? Is anyone here? Traveler? Ransom broker? Lizalit? Hmm. Yes. What is it you wish? To pass the time of day with a fellow traveler, if you permit. Very well. I do not mind. My name is Lizalit. I am the second son of the Count of Geroia. Of whom you have no doubt heard. Having no inheritance of my own, I came here to seek my fortune in Calredia, training men in the art of battle. Unfortunately, the lord here in Nara has no taste for the disciplinary methods needed to turn the rabble into soldiers. I told him it was wiser to flog them now, and then bury them later. But he would not listen, and I was told to take my services elsewhere. So... If you know of any commander who believes that his purpose is to win battles rather than pamper his soldiers, I would be pleased if you would direct, if you directed me to him. I might be able to use you in my company. I would be pleased to ride with you at least for a little while to pay and share of any loot. I am a skilled swordsman, and I can also instruct your men in fighting. 
but I warn you that I do not care to fight for a leader who is lax in discipline with his men, for in the long run they will not respect a soft hand. What do you think? Shall we call you strong hammer, my liege? <laughs> Absolute giga chad behavior. I thank you. Um, well, maybe that should be Butterbur's calling card. Butterbur, Bessie Butterbur the Twelfth, i.e. Strong Hammer. Um, the Strong Hammer. The Strong Hammer. Call me Butterbur. <laughs> Let's see. What do you think? Les Elite. Should we bring him in? Would this be a character that... That... Well... Would would fit in his party. I think yes. Good. I'll be happy to hire someone like you. Ah, one last thing. I would ask for an initial bounty of 400 dinars before I join your command. It is my principle never to enter someone's service without receiving the payment I deserve. I think he thinks we're broke. Mm, well, all right. Here's 400 dinars. <laughs> you are most welcome in our company. We're not that desperate. Perfect. All right. Well, I believe you are right, Wolf. I do think he can be useful. And if we leave there, check out our character party. Here, we can actually talk to Les Elite, ask him about his equipment, change that depending on what we need from him. Um, so that right there is actually pretty fair, but... Well... I shouldn't steal this clothes. That would be wrong of me. Let's give him a shield just in case. And oh, he can't use a short bow. Um, let's give him a spear if we can. Huh. Actually, none of these are are worth that. Okay. But we can ask him about his skills. And then here, when he levels up, um, he'll actually be able to uh, do quite a bit of training. But he is, wow, very proficient. And he's a higher level than us. Trainer four. That means that we'll gain more experience per day just having him in our party at this point, which is great. Um, Swadian footmen, Swadian recruits, upgrade to Swadian militia. Perfect. Well, unfortunately, we were unable to find any butter. I feel like I just have to go... No, no, no. We're not going to end this stream without finding what is rightfully ours. Our birthright. So... <gasps> we did it. The Butter Kingdom can now begin. I I think that's it. I think that that's a great stopping point. We have found our butter. May it be the first cakes of many. All right. Thank you so much for joining. Um, if you are watching this uh, as a you know recorded video, thank you as well. 
All right, be sure to check out, um, well, just, you know, all of the things. Uh, if you appreciate the content, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, and uh, if you are one of our, our goober soldiers, um, like Wolf is, um, yeah, just feel free to uh, let me know feedback, what you liked, what you kind of wished would change, etc. All right, thank you so much for joining us in the stream. And yeah, the game did know I was tired. <laughs> All right, but thank you again for, for joining. I hope you have a good night. All right, peace.